Good morning, my little beauty. Hi. Princess Snow Cone slash and or Madam President and or fully adjusted now. We are straightened out, organized, ready to go. So I keep drumming in here, still feeding the boys. I think I'm pretty much about done with that. Mochi and Mooney are always in this stall, this is their stall. I also use this for milkers generally. And since Toots is really the only one, I'll explain the situation in a second. How and why we organize our barn. So Toots is really the only, stop. Yeah, stop. Hey, no. You're a bad kitty. So Toots and Drummy are in here just to get milked. Milked or hand milked. Marlin, hi. And Mr. President are back in their stall and they're happy little, little guys. Oh, oh, you tried. Happy little fellas, huh? Yeah. Now all of the newborn babies have reached two weeks old. Yeah, hi, beautiful girl. So they joined the riffraff over here at night being maintained by Mama Frosty. Hi, Mama Frosty. Uh, they're a little loud this morning, but again, this is their first time ever being separated from mom at night. So they are here. <laughs> what big guy? You're gonna have your sister join you in your sad stance. Drummy still is just producing enough milk to keep the boys alive during the day. And then we're still supplementing at night. I'm gonna do a really good double check on her. I wanna get her on the stand. Uh, within the next couple days and, and, and feel her out, see what she's doing there. You know, side, side quest, somebody asked why uh, Drummy's boys are so fat because, I mean, they're eating off of her. They're eating off of her. Both very, very solid milkers. Hi, back to you. So I'm gonna get her on the stand, get her milked out, see if she's doing anything, producing anything. I've been checking and there's nothing really there, but I've also had the boys on her 24 seven. The only time they're not with her is when they're up on the stand with mochi or gummy. Again, I stay. These four goats are the only goats that can eat together. What I mean by that is if I put this one or this one over here, it would be all fighting and fussing. People would be getting the crap beat out of them. Somebody would be standing in a corner looking sad and lonely like that and not getting the appropriate amount of food for the day. This one is timid, but this is uh, mom here and aunt here. So she's part of the royal hierarchy here. So she's in here and no issues with, with her getting fed in here. Uh, and as soon as Drummy gets past her, her with the boys, she'll come back in here as but well. But I, I think it works better for me to tell you who lives where when they're, when they're in their stalls. And why they're in their stuff. Hi, you got on top of your mama? She's a dainty little thing and you're chunky. Yeah. Y yeah, you're chunky. You're, you're, bow you're bowing her back. Good night. And get a better angle. Look at that. Get off your mama. <laughs> <laughs> Let me circle back around real quick. When Drummy is finished with the boys, when we think she's good enough to just go ahead and separate them from her at night, which is probably now, We'll go ahead and put her back in here. Then she'll, the, the whole royal family will be back together. Uh, Drummy is a muffin baby and Gucci is a pudding baby. And they've always stalled together, lived together. They're perfectly, <laughs> that's your aunt. Yeah, she's sometimes grumpy. Are you acting Bucky? Are you pretending to pee on your face? Uh-huh. So, that is the current layout of the barn, and that's as back to normal as we can possibly get. We do still have, and I'll show you, uh, this is probably a bad, bad idea. We do still have Gingy, Twinkie, and this Chocolate Sparkle Mom outside on the porch eating. So, okay, I got to get to milking, get that done, and then get everybody let out. All right, milking is finished. Let these have. <laughs> oh, I can't be bothered. I'm gonna go steal some food. Hi, Mooney. <laughs> oh, 
President Snow. Bad boy, you know that? Hi, babies. <laughs> All right. Where are my little ones? Uh, a little cuddle puddle hiding down there. It's a good place to be, babies. There's no food in there, so the moms are gonna go in, check for food, and come right back out. So I'm not worried about them getting stepped on or anything. Find your mamas. There you go. I'm missing a little Goldie. Oh, he, he's honed in on her. Nope, he honed in the wrong direction. She's, <laughs> Bubba. Buster Brown. Come here. <laughs> That's not her, but I mean, if you can sneak in there and get you some milk. There she is. Yes. <laughs> You're ridiculous. You need to stop being so needy. I love you, but. All right, 50 degrees, not too bad. It is true October in Ohio. It rained a little this morning. The temperature makes you want to cry. The sadness is here and white death is soon to follow. How did the show go? Uh, it, it went okay. Uh, Saturday, Saturday is always your big day at a show. Generally, 99% of the time, Saturday is going to be your biggest day. That's when you want to recoup all your fees, all your travel costs, all your material costs, and your booth fee. You want to get that out of the way as quickly as possible. And then everything after that is profit, and then Sunday's all-day profit. Okay, so here's the scenario. I don't, I don't stress over stuff because what, what can you do about it? I like to focus on these are the facts. What can I control within those facts? Focus on that. Everything else, there's nothing you can do. Let it play out. Deal with the situation as it comes. That's how I live my life. It is what it is, is one of my favorite sayings. I was completely stressed out. <laughs> it's cold, guys, sorry. I was completely stressed out about this uh, Waynesville show because every vendor we talked to, every person we talked to from the committee, every was like, you have got to get in there. It's going to take a long time. Everybody needs to be super patient. Everything's going to be blocked up. Get in line. 462 vendors, I think. Trying to get on one street in the entire town. It's not a big town. And it is, if you can imagine that, you have huge trailers of people loading in trailers of stuff. You have regular cars, trucks, all trying to park on a city street it's not a wide street these aren't these aren't like new york streets where they're you know six lanes wide in downtown these are straight up two lane roads through a one horse town and you're trying to get trucks and trailers and vans and cars and at a minimum 450 460 vehicles in a funnel on the street unload your stuff and back out the funnel and then come back in and start setting up your stuff. Not everybody is conscientious about their placement of their vehicle. Not everybody even cares. Some people are just flat rude and they'll park just wherever they feel like parking. They don't try to get over. So we're freaking out. We couldn't even start, our load in time was 8 p.m. So we couldn't even get, it's not like we could roll up there at three and get in line and the lights would still be on. It was 8 p.m. or 6 a.m. We had to be off the street by 6 a.m. That left us in the situation where you are getting up well here. Eh. 15 minutes late. <laughs> Teen squad cuddle puddle. It looked better a second ago. What is up guys? Welcome to 3 a.m. I guess. I don't know. Get up, get moving. Didn't really sleep. Uh, but here we are and let everybody out. Get these buckets out of here and kick these doors open and get out of here. 
I'll explain why why it's not 145 and, and it's three. Perhaps later. And the reason I wasn't up at, at one uh, 145 a.m. was because we decided, I was just freaking out, so we decided to make the two hour drive. It's two hours up, two hours back. Never done that, never once ever have I freaked out and gone and set up at a craft show. <clears throat> so we made the two hour drive. We got there, it was a ghost town. Nobody was there, all the tents were set up, everybody was gone, there were a couple people, our neighbors beside us were there and uh, neighbors across from us were there setting up. It was literally nothing like anybody had told us. It was done and done. We got there and it's like, we got there right at eight o'clock. We were also told that parking is essentially impossible, which is why you have to get up there and you have to get your setup done because you're not gonna find parking. You're not gonna get there at 6 a.m. and set up and find, or before 6 a.m., get set up and find parking it's going to be two, three miles from the event center. Now they were running some shuttles, but I didn't want to deal with that. So they actually give you a list of townspeople, town folk who said, Hey, you know what? We're going to park people in our lots, in our yards. Here's their phone number. And you call those people and you say, Hey, I want to reserve a parking space. I'm a vendor, blah, blah, blah. They tell you how much it is. You secured your spot. I have been calling for three weeks straight and I have never received a single call back to say, nope, sorry, we can't fit you in, our lot's full. Nothing, nobody even answered the phone. So I called a guy uh, on Friday and he said, my buddy has a lot, give him a call. He said, he's still looking for people. I called him, he said, you're in solid. So now we have parking, so we don't have to worry about that. It's like 600 feet from the, from the, where our tent was gonna be. So we felt good about that. And then we were just gonna go there and get set up, drive by the parking space so we know how to get from point A to point B. So when it's crazy, you can just drive off, get to your spot and get back to your tent. So we get there, nothing's happening, 8, 8, uh, 8 p.m., it's the ghost town. We, we put up our tent, we're in and out of there. It takes us about 20 minutes. If we're just doing a setup and not soap, it takes about 20 minutes. With soap, it's about 30 minutes. <laughs> Hi, Minnie Me. Your mom is beautiful and she made beautiful babies. And uh, I think this guy is already gone. If that's right, you have my text. Just let me know to confirm. <laughs> the other thing we're told is Saturday morning is going to be a total, total freaking nightmare circus, horse race, whatever you want to call it. Even the guy that we were parking in his lot, he's like, be in town by six. There are, there are, I think four festivals going on in that area at the time. One of them is actually on the way to Sauerkraut Festival and it's called uh, Renfest, uh, Renaissance, Renaissance Festival. It is massive. Um, and it's on the way, so they were expecting there's a lot of construction as well. It's summertime, ending summer, so construction going on. They were expecting the Renaissance traffic to back up the sauerkraut festival traffic and everything's gonna be a nightmare. He's like, you need to be here uh, by 6 a.m. I said, we're planning to get there around 5.30, 5.45. He's like, very good, that should be okay. We roll up, and I'm not even kidding you, we roll up at 6 a.m., ghost town. Humbleweed ghost town. Crap shows be lack. Mm. Mm. Well, 622. They said if you're not here by like 545, 6 o'clock, you wouldn't be able to get in. Streets would be closed. Everything would be packed. But here we are. Going on 630 and it is dead. Since we sat up on Friday night, got back home. By the time I got the goats fed and we ate dinner, I think it was about 12.30, one o'clock, give or take. I wasn't looking at the clock. I'm just trying to get to bed. So get to sleep, sleep two hours, back up at 3 a.m. 
get my butt over here. I'd basically just kick the doors open and let the goats out. Hello. You are my friend. Hi, Magnum. <laughs> How can you not? Look, this is what they do. This is what they do. They're like, oh, I love you so much. And then they squirm and yell, more love, more love. <laughs> For our friend, I sniffed a goat. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Are you guys better than puppies? Puppies are pretty epic, but you're better than puppies. So it's a it's a it's a literal ghost town when we get there. We we dropped off the stuff, parked in our spot, sat in the truck for uh, like an hour and a half. So the show they want you set up by eight. It really doesn't kick off until nine. But she said people will be there at eight to buy. So it's just an open street fair. Anybody can walk in from anywhere at any time. So we, we got there at six in our parking space by 6.05. And we literally sat in the truck for an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. I was so, so, so frustrated. We'll say frustrated. So that was day one. Uh, Sadly, I have to say it, it was way down. The Saturday sales were basically good Sunday sales. And Sunday sales are generally half your Saturday. At a minimum, half your Saturday. Uh, and Sunday sales were like a good Thursday, which if you guys don't know what that means, Thursdays are okay, but it's a Thursday and it's usually a Thursday night and people are getting off work and they're going somewhere and there's not very many people generally. And it's, this is not just us. Uh, we did talk to some people that said they were even, but that was due to the fact that they've been there for 15 years and they had a lot of return customers. So some people were, were break even. I'm sure some people did better than that. Uh, the food vendors were talking about how well they were doing because no, hi. <laughs> we had, I think, three instances of people. Are you trying to love on me just so you can chew my strings? Is that your game? Is that your income? Oh, you smile for the camera. <laughs> You're so beautiful. And I got this guy over here. If you could start your day like this, please do. Figure it out. You eat it. No, I need that. No, I need that. I don't need it now, but I'll need it in the winter when I need to cinch my hood. <clears throat> okay, stop. She's like, if you pet me, I will not chew your gear. <laughs> uh, we had three instances of people literally was standing at the table and said almost verbatim the same thing was uh we got to go see how much we have to buy food so people were spending their money on food and this has kind of been the theme all year it has been a matter of stopping in eating some food hanging out with friends and maybe buy one or two things. We did okay, we got all of our money back. Um, we're a little lighter than normal because it was total miles for the weekend was 600 miles. Uh, who's in the heat? Are you in the heat, Miss Gucci? Ah, President Snow. Are you just dominating to get the high ground or is she in heat? If you're gonna do your job, do it right. <laughs> You have this... Okay, maybe you guys can't always tell. But I see their faces every single day. And I know their basic demeanor. And I know... <laughs> this is my happy boy face. That's my happy boy face. I like it. We got some dirt on your face. He had this look on his face just now when he knocked her off of there. Like, like he called her a bad name. And said, get off of my bench. That was not very nice. Now you're going to fight babies. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, all in all, guys, sorry, I'm rambling a bit today. Uh, we decided on Sunday that since we knew the, the scenario, what was going on, which is why we went up Friday night, just so we would have a lay of the land. We knew, let me switch you to go. We knew how to get in, how to get out, where our parking places were, where our parking space was. Uh, we knew everything we needed to know to just get in and be efficient and, and get set up and get done. Saturday, or Sunday rather, uh, we slept until 4.45 a.m. I guess everybody's leaving. I was gonna show you, where are you going? You guys know how the fence works, go around. Silly potatoes. Yeah, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, Miss. yeah. Well, don't pull that thread. You do not want Puddin' coming at you. You do not want Puddin' coming at you. She gets mad and she's just gonna beat on you all day. Every time she sees you, every time she thinks about you, she's gonna come over and beat on you. Right now, it looks like she's actually protecting Mississippi, which is interesting. So anyway, uh, we didn't end up getting there until 7.30 a.m. on Sunday because we knew all we had to do was throw our soap on the cart and walk our 600 feet to our tent and set up. So we got a little extra sleep on Sunday. And then last night, by the time we got home, all of you lovely people who are still placing orders, the shop is still open, guys. Uh, and there is still tons and tons of pumpkin and apple. I'm pretty sure we way overproduced. <laughs> so it is what it is. Way overproduced pumpkin and apple. Uh, we have officially stopped making Christmas soap at this point because we're nervous about having produced the same or more, well, actually more. Uh-oh, what's happening? Do I need to kill something? Anybody? Do not mess with my goats. That will make me instantly murdery. Yeah, Sprinkles is still down there in the creek, so of course she's a little bit crazy. <laughs> you gonna get it, baby boy? <laughs> Good job. So all in all, we 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 did make out okay, just okay. Uh, with the uh, that hundred and twenty-five thousand people was probably pretty accurate if not more, that street scene I showed you was all day, every minute of the day. And the people that have been there for years have said that was actually pretty light. <laughs> like okay so we're gonna give it a shot again next year uh, we really really like the show we don't like the travel in the in the time that we have to you know uh, coming home late getting up that early uh not a fan of that but i think the potential for that show is there it's been a tough year. We know it's a tough year. People are going to these things just to have something to do, to be entertained, to maybe get some good food. Something that, you know, when a big show like that comes to your town once a year, you go out, you you enjoy the food, enjoy the people. Simple mathematics. People were walking around not buying anything. But there were, like I said, easy 125, 150, 200,000 people came through there every day, both days. So if you think about that, this year has been the same. People are coming to these things and not buying. Now, next year you go to the show and there's that same crowd, that same number of people in that small space. They come there and they are buying. I think next year, having gone through all that, once we get settled out in next year, the fact, the number of sheer number of people, percentage of people buying, if that crowd shows up next year and they're in a better place and they're showing up and they're buying, it's going to be unmanageable almost where you just basically you throw money behind the table and we'll throw soap at you. It's, it's really going to be 
a numbers game when that many people show up, but they're spending. It's 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 really will. It's it's almost unmanageable. We think that's going to be the case next year. That number of people, but buying, it's going to be epic. It's going to be so so very epic. Hi, Mr. Blue Eyes. How are you? Why are you such a sturdy? <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You're such a scaredy cat. Look. Hi. <laughs> See how this works? If you come over here, you get nice warm hugs, and you get scratched in your nice scratchy goat scratch spot. And it's nice. Is it nice? It's nice, huh? <laughs> you want some scratches? Look. Look. I'll even get you back here in this good spot. Everybody likes their little, their little hunch, the little hump scratch. You want to come get scratches? I'll give you scratches. <laughs> you can sniff me. I'm safe. I've only kept you alive for two weeks, you weenie. <laughs> okay. You'll come around. They all do. Look at this. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at me. <laughs> all right. His name is Buster, by the way. His little sister, his gold sister that looks just like him is Babs. H is going down this uh, childhood Looney Tunes... Uh, what was Buster and Babs? Mini Looney Tunes? Looney Tune Babies or something like that? And then, uh... <laughs> I have some names for some other ones when we get there. Wacko, Yakko, and Dot. Do, 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 do. Are gonna be Sprinkles Babies. From Animaniacs. But they're out there now, and I'm not going. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for listening to me ramble on.